What do the Democrats think of Mr. Trump's choices? Nancy Cordes is following that. You don't want someone, frankly, that can be hothead at times or erratic. Like many Democrats, California's Adam Schiff used the word alarming today to describe the choice of Mike Flynn for national security advisor. Just last year, the retired lieutenant general dined with Vladimir Putin in Moscow. His views on Russia ought to concern us all. Like the president-elect, he's been an apologist for the Kremlin. Democrats were just as critical of Senator Jeff Sessions, tapped for attorney general. The Congressional Black Caucus called his civil rights record appalling. Luis Gutierrez of Illinois said if you have nostalgia for the days when blacks kept quiet and gays were in the closet, then Senator Sessions is your man. I think that's just false. William Smith worked for Sessions for 10 years. To Democrats who say he has a past of making racist statements, you say? I'd say they, have, they don't know Senator Sessions that well. They haven't been around him. They haven't worked with him. He's a fine guy, never said anything inappropriate. And to chase something that's 30 years old, I think it's inappropriate. There was less strife over CIA pick Mike Pompeo. Democrats called the congressman bright and hardworking, and Republicans hailed him as a strong choice. Those same Republicans were silent about Flynn, who, unlike the other two, will not need to be confirmed by Congress. In reality, Democrats don't have the numbers to block any of these appointments if Republicans stick together, right? That's true. If Republicans stick together, the president will be able to essentially put anyone he wants in these positions, uh, which is, uh, if we needed another illustration of just how much elections really matter. Normally, Republicans would need at least a few Democratic votes to confirm these nominees, but when they controlled the Senate a few years ago, Democrats reduced the number of votes needed from 60 to a simple majority of 51. It was called the nuclear option, John, and it's about to blow up in their faces. Nancy Cordes, thanks so much, Nancy.